Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Gaming. This is gonna be something we're just gonna try. If it works out, it works out. This is called Let's Talk Gaming One Take, where everything's in one take. I'm Judy Rhino. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm not gonna bash League of Legends as such as a game. It's an awesome game. The mechanics are cool. It's the community that I'm here to bash. So I'm basically gonna bash all of the League players. Um, basically I'm new to the game, although I do have a year and a half experience in Heroes of the Storm, but it's not as intricate as League of Legends with all the warding and things. So learn and support might be throwing myself in at the deep end a little bit. So basically I play with my cousins and my, our mates and stuff, and so when, when I'm playing with them, it's a team of five, so it's awesome because they're just being constructive. They're like, oh yeah, Jordy, you need to do this, oh you need to do this, you're absolutely you're doing fine, everything. Then they said, play on your own because you get really good experience. Worst thing they've ever said to me in my life because the community for new players is beyond toxic. I was trying my best at supporting. I thought I was doing a good job and the AD carry was literally basically telling me to kill myself because I wasn't warding properly and I wish that I was exaggerating. And the thing was, I told him, I'm trying to learn my class, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm only level 10. You know, you're in a rank game, I'm oh, sorry, in a, in a normal game with a level 10. He can't expect too much from me, you know, Jesus Christ. To which he said, fuck this, I'm gonna go solo as you're so pro. How the fuck does that even make sense? I haven't been like, hey man, I'm fucking awesome, you don't know what you're talking about, you fucking dick. I was genuinely like, look man, if you're gonna be critical, I don't mind that, but at least be constructive with it. You know, it's not, you know, I'm just, <laughs> help me, you know. At the end of the day, if you help me, if you say, oh dude, you should ward in that uh, bush there because the jungler might come through, then I'll ward it, then the jungler might come through, we can spot him and kill him, awesome. Or you can be a dick about it, don't tell me anything, Bash me because I don't know, the jungler comes through, we don't see it, and we're dead, you know? So it's kind of like, if you're one of those players, right, if I'm talking directly to you and you're a bit toxic, don't be a dickhead. Just try and be nice to the people that are learning the game because you'd never know they might be the next EU rank one fucking support of 2016. That might be me, we don't know, huh? But at least if you teach me, I might have the potential to reach that. I highly doubt it, but like I say, you never know. But yeah, I think the moral of this story is, and there is, I'm not gonna just keep on League of Legends. It is a little bit in her, uh, Heroes of the Storm as well. Maybe it's just the MOBA community, but League of Legends is definitely where it's like a cesspool of AIDS, okay? It's really bad, really bad, and it really blew me away just how bad it was. I mean, I was warned, uh, that game, right, I, I have quite a high threshold for shit like that. He wore me down that bad, I was like, fuck it, I quit, and I just ended the game, I just left. And that was sort of like really sad, because I was like, oh fuck, I've kind of been defeated. But, Jesus, man, if you're level 10, you're learning the game, don't be a dickhead, do you know what I mean? That was quality. <laughs>